in the crowd But you don't seem so far away The only thing between us is empty space Empty space and Even when the music is loud I'd rather be no other place Than here with you now Here with you now Alright guys, so behind this door right here is my office where you will see my gaming setup and uh, I do apologize about the echo, uh, like I said everything in my apartment is currently packed and uh, this apartment actually has really high ceilings and down there is the downstairs so it can be echoey at times up here but let's go ahead and begin. All right, so right off the bat, once you enter into the room, you will find yourself a door to your right and uh, a mere slide away door, I guess, to your left. And this is actually a closet. So is the other one. Let's see if we can get this to focus. It's a closet. Let me show you guys what's in this closet. Nothing too fancy. Uh, I actually used to throw all of the stuff that I would buy, like from Best Buy or whatever, into this closet. So it's actually very messy. I did clean it out a little bit when I was looking for my Windows 7 CD and I actually found it in here after much digging through all this junk. But as you can see, it's pretty messy as it is. I gotta clean this all out tonight before I move and figure out what I'm gonna throw away and what I'm gonna keep. But that is it, that is uh, one closet with a mirror. And then on this side, we also have another closet. One of the things I really liked about this apartment is the fact that it has so many closets here. And I actually only use these two up for my own personal use. This is my closet where I keep all of my clothing. Uh, keep my jeans and shorts on that side. T-shirts and jackets on this side. We got some suitcases on the floor over there. My backpack. <clears throat> we got a couple posters in the back that didn't make the walls. I'm gonna take the Iron Man poster with me just because I really want to use it, but I just gotta get a frame for it that fits the poster itself. Uh, and then we got some boxes, some slippers that I got for Christmas, and uh, yeah, that is pretty much it. It's a nice big closet. I think that goes up to the attic. I've never been up there. I used to hear creepy stuff uh, at night coming up from there, and I was told they were bats, but yeah. That is the closet where I store my stuff. All right, moving on to the right side of the room. As you can see, I have a poster. I'm gonna show off all the posters in my room. I had a lot of them hung up in my apartment, but obviously most of them are taken down except for the ones in this room because, you know, this room is pretty much as it is. And this is a Super Mario 3D Land poster that I got from Walmart. I'm gonna try to name off everything uh, that I got and where I got it from and, uh, yeah, that, that way you guys can get an idea where I got it and if you want something like it, you could probably get it yourself. So I got this poster from Walmart when I first moved down here and I got this poster frame from Target. It's not a good poster frame. As you can see, the thing is starting to collapse on itself up there. So I gotta get new ones, but I guess that's what you get for buying like a cheap poster frame from Target. Uh, and then right here we have two YouTube plaques. One of which is obviously mine for hitting 100,000 subscribers. I never showed this off in a video before. And then this one is my girlfriend's. Uh, we decided to hang them up here. At least I hung up mine here and then she wanted hers next to mine. So I was like, you know what? Why the heck not? It looks pretty cool. Uh, right here, I framed my Pokemon Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire poster. I never hung it up though. I don't know why, but it, I, I bought a frame specifically for this when I bought it from Best Buy. Uh, or I got the game from Best Buy and they gave me a free poster with it. But I never actually put it up on the wall. I might not actually. I might just give it away or just keep it like that. And then right here, we have my amiibo shrine i bought this thing specifically for uh amiibo and as you can see i have my first row of amiibo and unfortunately i don't collect amiibo just because they're very hard to collect so i just kind of gave up on that but we have let me open this i got a car freshener to make the room smell nice um, but here we have the first row of amiibo and then down here we have the second row of amiibo and then we have some Disney Infinity figurines because I play that game. We have Vegeta that I bought in LA. This thing I got from Target, the Iron Man. I'm going to get some more Figmas once I move and probably a bigger glass display case. And then we got some bobbleheads down here. I did actually buy some uh, some neon lights from, uh, or LED lights from uh, 
Amazon. And I actually got this thing from Amazon as well. So if you guys were interested in like picking this up for yourselves, I got it from Amazon and I bought these things from Amazon. So I'll probably just show, you know, cut to uh, just like a, I guess a display case at night so you guys can see how it looks like with the lights. It's not too fancy or anything, but it still looks pretty cool. I like having them on, you know, when I'm like playing games in the dark, it just kind of gives the room a nice atmosphere. So that is it, my Amiibo Shrine over here. And then I have uh, some Amiibos that I have never unboxed before. I have Charizard Ike, Wario Pac-Man, and then this Amiibo that my girlfriend actually uh, customized for me. It is a Skull Kid Link Amiibo. It's pretty sick. I don't think I'm ever gonna unbox this. It's gonna always be sealed in its box. Link with a Majora's mask as a shield. It's really awesome. She gave me this, she surprised me with it, and it's really nice. So I don't think I'm gonna ever unbox that, but these guys will definitely get unboxed once I move, and then I'll just put them in the glass display case somewhere. But yeah, that is it for this little corner over here. So moving on, we have this little section. Um, we have this thing. I guess, I don't know what you could call this, a storage space for stuff and whatnot. I actually bought this from Amazon to store some extra cables and controllers that I had lying around. Uh, it's pretty cool to have. Got some Fitbit wristbands in there. Uh, but yeah, this is very nice to have because it kind of keeps your space organized. And I, I had, before I got this, I had a bunch of stuff just thrown around in closets on the floor. So I'm really glad I got this. Down here, there's really nothing besides a air mattress pump. I'm assuming that's what it is. And then I have this really sick popcorn tin that I got when I saw the, the Avengers movie. I actually bought it. I think it was like 12 bucks. Uh, and I bought it just for the sake of having it. I have like HDMI cables in there. That's like a 20 foot HDMI cable. It's really nice. And then right here I got some Beats headphones that were given to me by Kobe. Uh, a box of my RAM. Some cables. I have uh, right here. All of these are my game informers that I accumulated throughout the year and a half that I've lived here. I don't think that's all of them, but that's a lot of them for sure. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna look for the best pictures in this, or like the best pages, and just make like one big huge gaming wallpaper, and then put it up in the new place. I don't know, I could do that. I'm not really sure if I will or will not, but it's a project for the future. So moving on, we have the TV. This is a uh, 42 inch Vizio Smart TV. I bought this when I first moved down here. It was like. The month after I moved down here, I actually bought this with the TV stand from Walmart. Um, pretty standard TV stand. I think I paid like 200 bucks for this and I paid like, I wanna say 500 for the TV. It's really nice. You know, it does the job. It's a smart TV, so you have all your smart, uh, let me see if I can get this to focus. You have all your smart stuff on your remote. Yeah, I can't get that to focus on over right here. And then I have my, big Wii uh, U sensor bar. It actually works with the Wii as well. It's a really nice sensor bar because it, it has much better range than the standard Wii and Wii U sensor bar. So I bought this. It's very dusty. Everything in this room is probably going to be very dusty. And then down here I have my Xbox, my Japanese Wii U, my Wii U, and a PS4 that does not belong to me. It's actually Moe's. Uh, I'm actually using that PS4 to record Lego uh, Jurassic Park but yeah we also have uh, a subwoofer and I actually bought this subwoofer it came with um, with this 3d blu-ray player I bought this I bought the sound system it came with the subwoofer came with two or five miniature speakers I have two that I haven't actually used yet but there's one there's the second one and the third one's on that window so that's three, and then it came with the subwoofer. And the reason why I have the subwoofer on a pillow is because when I'm playing music really loudly, it actually vibrates the floor. And I had my downstairs neighbors complain about that. So I bought this pillow and it just absorbs the vibration. So it's really good. So that way I can play my music really loud and they're not gonna be able to hear anything or feel any vibrations whatsoever because that pillow absorbs all the vibrations. So, that is it for, I guess, my little entertainment system setup over here. Nothing too shabby. I used to have the TV on the other side, but I moved it because I hate having to move my computer chair to be able to look at the TV when I'm trying to play games. I like gaming at my desk, so I moved it back here. And then up top, 
almost forgot about this, we have ourselves a Marvel poster. I'm a huge Marvel fanatic, if you guys don't know. I love everything and anything Marvel. And once again, I got a crappy Target poster, making the poster like pretty much fall off its frame. I don't know why it does that, but it is. I, I need to get new poster frames for these things. But this is a nice poster. I bought it when I first moved down here along with that Super Mario 3D World poster. So it's pretty nice to have it hung up over the TV. And over here, we have uh, a YouTube tripod chair that I got when I hit 100,000 subscribers. I have a Wiimote just sitting there, I don't know why. And then I have a lamp. I got this for like 10 bucks at Walmart. This is the only lamp that I have in the room. I actually use this as my primary light at night. I hate using uh, that because it makes the room way too bright. So I just use this and it just gives the room a nice like lighting inside so it's not too bright and it's not dark at all. Uh, and this is the view from one of the windows in here. I was very skeptical about showing this off when I first wanted to make this video, but now that I'm actually moving, I guess it doesn't really matter because by the time you see this video, I'm already going to be gone. So this is the view. I can't get this camera to focus for the life of me, but it's not a bad view. It's very nice. And then over here, we have a Captain America Winter Soldier poster. I think I bought this from Walmart as well. Most of the posters in here I bought from Walmart. And I bought this frame from Walmart too. It's actually a really nice frame. I paid like 20 bucks for it. And it holds up much better than the other frames. It's actually wooden and everything. I had to crop the poster a little bit to fit the frame. But I think it looks good still. I love Captain America. Like I said, I'm a huge Marvel fanatic. So you're going to find a lot of Marvel related things in this office or room or whatever you want to call it. Right here I have a little uh, shrine of things. Um, I have this haunted chest that I got with Triforce or Hy Hyrule Warriors. I'm gonna say Triforce Warriors. No, I was gonna say Triforce Heroes, but that's the game that was just announced. But I got this with Hyrule Warriors, and every time I go out of state, my girlfriend always tells me how this plays on its own, and she actually showed me this. I don't know why it does, it just plays on its own. See, when you lift it up like that, it makes some sound. When you close it, it doesn't make any sound. But I just got a couple of stuff on Okay, the so the camera automatically stopped recording. I don't know why. I guess uh, it just automatically stops recording after a certain point. Good thing I caught that. But that's uh, that's the chest that I have. I got with uh, Hyrule Warriors. Got this little Triforce clock with Hyrule Warriors. Um, I got these things from Loot Crate at PAX. My old Blue Yeti microphone. Down here, I actually have a lot of boxes for consoles. Or actually, my Wii U console, my Japanese Wii U box. I got iPhone boxes. I think that's the 6 Plus, the 6, and the 5S. Uh, and then I got some 3DS boxes over here. My Japanese 3DS box. So just a bunch of stuff, you know, not really too important or anything. A lot of phone case boxes. When I first got my iPhone 6 Plus, I had a lot of phone cases. So they're right there. But yeah. Nothing too shabby here. Uh, I bought this just to keep my room organized and be able to hold on to my loot crate boxes. I kept them all in here until I had way too many and then I ended up just putting them outside in the living room and then I just utilized this space for other stuff. And right here I have a tower fan. Now as a YouTuber you definitely need one of these because you always record in like rooms that don't have sound. So I always have my windows closed just so I don't uh, pick up any sound from the outside. And I'll tell you guys why I do that, because sometimes you can do that, I guess, if you live in like a quiet area, but I don't. So I bought this fan, and it's a very nice tower fan. It actually has three different speeds of, of air, and if I put it up against my window, it can actually take the air from the outside if it's cool air and just circulate it around my room, which is really nice. So as a YouTuber, I find this is like is a necessity. You must have, otherwise you're gonna die in a very hot, humid room with all this electronics, radiating heat and whatnot. Now over here, this is the view, the primary view of my apartment. If I can get this darn thing to focus, it doesn't look like it wants to focus at all. But uh, essentially what that is, it's a pool. I'll probably put a picture or something of uh, out, just a picture on the screen, but it's pretty much just a pool area. Again, I was really skeptical about showing this off, but since I'm already moved, it doesn't really matter. So you guys can actually see what's outside. You can't really tell. It's so freaking bright. It really is. Holy crap. Okay. It doesn't really matter. 
but we have a, a nice little circle chair. These things are so freaking comfortable. Uh, we have gum stain right here. For anybody who thinks it's anything else, it's actually a gum stain. We were recording Mario Party 10 and Mo was chewing gum and then he didn't want to chew that gum anymore so he just put it on this chair and then he, uh, I think Luke sat on it without realizing so he got gum all over the chair, all over his jeans and then all over my car seat and I was really upset that day. Uh, and then right here I have uh, my old computer that I actually bought from Chris. I got a pretty good deal on this computer, paid 500 bucks. I think the graphics card in that computer at the time he bought it was worth $500. So I guess I got a really good deal. It did wonders for me. I actually have been using this since last year and then all of a sudden, like a month and a half ago, it just completely craps out on me. It completely stopped working. I'm assuming it has something to do with the power supply in this thing. So I'll probably get a new one and then see if I can get it working again. Maybe just use it as like a backup computer or something. I don't really know. But here I have another YouTube uh, tripod chair. I got these things, kind of just have them decoration in the room. And then right here I have my game entertainment shelf uh, with all of my games. Uh, when I moved down here, I didn't really bring anything besides my computer and all of my clothes. I bought everything brand new when I first moved here. So um, I actually had most of these games shipped down to me because I couldn't actually fit them in my suitcase. Uh, but yeah, these are the Nintendo DS, 3DS games over here, and then right here we have the Wii, all the way over to the Wii U games, and then here I have a couple Blu-rays, got Game of Thrones, bought season through or 2 and 3 on Blu-ray, and I got the two new 3DS boxes, and then more Blu-rays over here. And then I have the Xbox games, which most of them do belong to my girlfriend because she plays Xbox. Uh, primarily uh, over any other console so these are mostly her games and then down here I have some I guess you could say those are comics not really comic books that's the Avatar uh, Nickelodeon book series I haven't actually read any of those but I need to for sure and then a bunch of other stuff like boxes Hyrule Warrior Guide and then this this is as a youtuber it's kind of essential to have just on hand, just in case, you know, you want to pop out your computer, clean it, definitely get one of these, work wonders, so, absolutely love this thing. And then, up here, I have swagged out Mario, look at him, what a freaking pimp. The shades on, his crown, got a Hyrule Warrior scarf, and then I got a Dream Eater from Kingdom Hearts Dream Drop Distance, so it's pretty cool, kind of makes this area look really nice. And then I have my favorite poster of all time in my apartment, the Iron Man portrait. It's very nice. I actually saw this in Iron Man 2, and I was like, I need to get this poster for myself. So I actually went out on Amazon, and I found it. And I bought this poster frame from Amazon. These are hands down my favorite poster frames I have. They're very pricey, but they are definitely worth getting. So if you're looking for good poster frames, definitely get these ones. I'll probably put a link to everything in the description of this video, but this is my favorite poster. I put it there so that way if I ever record anything with my webcam, that's the view you guys are going to get. And unfortunately, I don't record anything with my webcam, so you haven't gotten anything like that. And then over here, we have my futon. Now, there's a little fun story. Since I've moved here, I've probably been through four different futons in this room, all of which are for the same reason. People come over, they sleep on the futon, and they do fun activities by themselves in the room, and then I'd end up throwing the futon away or just getting rid of it to get a different futon. So this is the fourth futon that I've had in this room, and it's hands down my favorite one. I bought this one from Walmart. It's very nice because when you sit on it, it has memory foam. This is all memory foam, so you could actually sleep on this and feel very comfortable. I actually have a memory foam padding on my bed, and it actually feels the same way. The one on my bed is a little bit thicker, but this is still pretty nice for a futon and the price that you pay to get this futon. I bought it from Walmart. I think I paid a couple hundred bucks for it. I'm not really sure, but it's really nice. And moving on, we have another poster. Now, I actually got these three posters over here from uh, Club Nintendo. And I bought poster frames before I actually hung them up. And again, I bought these poster frames from Amazon. They're really nice poster frames. You can actually get that thing to screw them on and then just nail it to the wall, which is pretty nice, and they're very easy to take off. Those are like my other attempts to nail it onto the wall, but I bought these and I hung them up and it actually made my room look really nice, so 
I'll probably do like a panoramic view of how it looks like with all the posters at the end of this. But yeah, one poster there, another poster there, and another poster there. And just to kind of give you guys a better view of everything down here, we have a footstool that I bought for like 10 bucks at Walmart, this rug that I bought from Target, the futon kind of angled to look at the TV, pretty nice, and then you got like all this stuff over here. So that's pretty much the room, except we're forgetting the most important part about this setup video, and that is my recording setup. This is where I do the magic, baby. This is where all the magic happens. Ah, my favorite part about this room, I've probably spent more time in this room in the last 18 months than I did anywhere else. I mean, I wake up and I just come straight into this room. So, first of all, we're gonna start off with, I guess you could say, the chair. Bought this chair from Walmart when I first moved here. Got this thing from Target, it's like a cushion. So it makes you know your butt feel nice when you sit down on it. And then I got this thing because uh, rolling wheels on carpet isn't actually good for the carpet and it doesn't really work easily. So I bought this to make it much more smoother, I guess you could say. And it's worked out wonders since I bought it. And then right here, we have my two game pads for my Wii U's. I have a 3DS. I have another 3DS, my Japanese 3DS. A 2DS, and then I have my mixer. I actually bought this mixer when uh, Chris and I were still doing Chris and Sully. Uh, it's just a dual mixer for two microphones, so one was essentially for him, one was for me, and it's worked wonders. And I've been using it ever since. I don't think I'm going to upgrade from this anytime soon because it still does the job perfectly. Uh, right here I have one of my monitors. Now you'll notice all of my monitors are different. This is an Asus monitor that I bought from Amazon a couple months ago uh, and then or actually like a year ago or not even a couple months ago and then I bought this Samsung monitor also a few months ago like almost a year ago I don't know why I'm saying a few months ago I got those speakers that I bought when I first got my first computer ever like three years ago uh, and then I have this monitor which I actually got using my YouTube gift certificate that you get when you hit 100,000 subscribers, you get a $500 gift certificate and I was able to buy this monitor with it. And uh, there's my YouTube channel. Look at that. We're about to hit 300,000 subscribers. If I can get this darn thing to focus. Oh my gosh, I completely suck at this. There we go, focus, focus, focus. All right, it doesn't want to focus. All right, you guys get the gist. And uh, this is my desk. It's like uh, an L-shaped desk, sort of. I bought this from Amazon, again, like over a year ago. It's a very nice desk. I'm probably gonna upgrade once I move, but this is a very good desk to start out with. As you can see, I hardly have any space on my desk, um, and most of that is thanks to this monitor, which I don't even use anymore. I had a three monitor setup going on for me, and I realized that I don't actually use the monitors, so I ended up just turning that one off and just using these two because that one would just radiate heat, and it would just make the room really hot, and I didn't like it at all, so I just uh, unplugged it and I stopped using it. And I have a Razer keyboard that I actually uh, got for my birthday from Munching Orange. So shout out to Munching Orange for being a kind, awesome friend and buying me a nice expensive keyboard that is freaking awesome. It sounds awesome like when you click, like, let me show you guys. Uh, I love that, I love that mechanical keyboard sound. And then I have a Razer mouse to go along with it that I bought shortly after. And then I got this sick, awesome uh, Zelda related uh, mouse pad that was gifted to me by Zelda Master for my birthday. So shout out to Zelda Master for giving me this awesome mouse pad. I absolutely love this mouse pad. I don't think I'm ever gonna change it. And then I got this little Iron Man speaker. Very, very terrible speaker actually. I bought it because it looked cool. I wanted to see if it sounded good, but it's a very janky speaker and I would not recommend you waste your money to buy this thing. It was like 20 bucks. It was not worth it at all. But yeah, that is it over here. We got a little cup with some pens because you never know when you're going to need a pen. We got my car keys over here, my iPhone, my wallet. What the heck is this doing? All right. <laughs> The 
Don't need that job. I'm just kidding. Kobe's probably gonna really hate me if I did that. I'll just put that back there. But yeah, guys, this is the computer, the godlike computer that I bought a couple of months ago when my other computer crapped out. I call her Serena. She is a freaking goddess. Oh my gosh, I put so much money into this computer and it was worth it. I was really sad when I had to buy this computer just because I didn't want to spend the money, but it was totally worth it in the end. Uh, we have two GTX 980 graphics cards in this thing. We have, I think, 16 gigabytes of RAM, a two terabyte solid state drive. We have 1600 watts of power, which is kind of an overkill, but it's definitely good to have just in case I don't want to add anything else into this. And it's just overall a beastly computer. The case is huge. It weighs like at least 250 pounds. It's freaking heavy. Well, not 250 pounds. It weighs at least 100 pounds. It's, it's pretty freaking heavy. Uh, and look, look at that. Look at my hand size compared to this thing. Like, it is huge. Believe me when I say this. I took this into Best Buy to get a diagnostic test. And these guys at Best Buy were gushing so hard over this computer. It made me feel really good. They've never seen anything like this before. So I'm really glad I bought her and I think she's gonna stick around for a very long time. I'll put all the specs on this computer down in the description of this video. Um, and let me actually show you guys my favorite feature of this which I have turned off currently. So you got lights on this thing and it's just not a blue light. It's just not a green light. You got also a red light. And you can also change the way the lights go so you can get blue, green, red. And then you can also do blue and then just flash green and then flash red. Or you could do my favorite, which is, oh, actually, I think I already skipped over it. Oh, it was the other one. Okay. That's my favorite one. I love having this one turned on. But yeah, it's a pretty awesome computer. I absolutely love and adore this computer. I'm going to be putting it to work. Uh, so far, I've been playing a lot of games on it, and they run perfectly. I've been putting those graphics cards to work. I don't know if you can see the second. Oh, there we go. You can see the second one, right? Yeah, there we go. They, they both light up. And in the back, you have all these cables. It's very nice. Lots of airway space to, uh, for, for air to flow through. Um, so it's overall just a really nice computer. I'm really glad that I got it. So yeah, I gotta put this bad boy to work. But yeah, that is pretty much it, guys. Oh, uh, one last thing too, the microphones. I completely forgot about these guys. Got a little trash can too, just in case, you know, I wanna throw something away, don't have to throw it out. out in the living room or in the kitchen or whatever, or there are trash cans in the apartment. But here is the microphone that I've been using. Uh, it's a blue, what is it called? It's a, a blue? It's just it's a bluebird microphone. I'm pretty sure is the name of this thing. I've had this for several months now. A pop filter and a stand, and then these two microphones are the. Uh, I mean, I don't even remember the names of these things. But Chris and I bought these microphones when we were doing Chris and Sully, and we bought these two stands. And uh, so ever since we've been using these microphones for pretty much all of the recordings. Um, and then I actually ended up buying this one for myself. But when I have people over to record, we use these two microphones. Sometimes I'll use my PX9, uh, what is this called? PX21 microphone, which everybody and their mom seem to be using. Sometimes I'll use that on the rare occasion, but for the most part, I actually always use this microphone as my primary microphone. And last but not least, we have this poster. I am the one who knocks. Also, another poster gifted to be by my girlfriend. Uh, when we first moved down here, we marathoned all of Breaking Bad. And uh, at the end of that marathon, she ended up surprising me with this poster. So I ended up framing it and hanging it up on my wall. Like I said, before that poster used to be over there, and then this one used to be right here. But I ended up flip-flopping them because, as you can see, this is where my webcam is. And then that's kind of the view you get when I use my webcam. So I wanted that Iron Man to be in the background uh, instead of anything else. But yeah, that is it guys. That is my office tour. I actually, like I said at the beginning of this video, or I should say because I haven't recorded the beginning of this video yet, I mainly made this video for myself uh, and obviously for you guys. I want to be able to look back at this video in the future and to remember all of the great times that I had recording in this office. Uh, right here with all of my friends and all of the let's plays that I created for you guys in this very area right here. So I'm very excited about that. 
Um, but yeah, thank you guys all so much for everything. If it weren't for you guys, I wouldn't have any of these things. You guys have changed my life for the better. And for that, I am extremely thankful of it. And I'm very, very thankful for you guys. So thank you guys all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this little office tour of mine. I'll probably bring you guys an updated one once I settle in the new apartment. And uh, you guys can just look at both of them and compare the two and see which one you liked better. So thank you for watching. And I will see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.